everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and today I'm in Pro Chargers booth with Eric, and we're going to be talking about their new i1 supercharger. All right, Eric, so this is the i1. Yep. I, I know it's really cool, but I'm not entirely sure what it does. So do you want to explain to everybody at home exactly what we're dealing with? Because we did talk a little bit about it during our force induction series. I know you did an interview with Bob, and you alluded to it, but I don't think at the time it was released yet. Uh, yeah, it's released for, like, limited applications. Okay, all right. So, yeah, because of the, the complexity of the programming, okay. it's specific to each car that it, or truck that uh, it goes I see. On. Yeah. I got you. All right, so exactly how does it work? Like, what is it doing? So, basically, you take the, you know, the benefits of a centrifugal supercharger, which sure. is efficiency, sure. low charge temp, and stuff like that. Yeah. And then you add a CVT gearbox onto it okay. that we can control the internal gear ratio. Ah. So we can move the RPM of the compressor wherever we want to through you know, the rev range. Right. And what that does is, you know, the downside to having like a, a, a screw blower, roots blower is sometimes sure. too much boost down low. Yes. On a high compression motor. Okay. You know, so you have to take a whole ton of timing out right. to be able to handle that. Yeah. Well, what you can do with this is you can actually build any kind of boost curve you want. Okay. So you could have it like a standard centrifugal curve. You could have it come in very violent. I got it. So you can kind of ramp it in and custom tailor it. You can do whatever you want. Car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what we found that most cars seem to really like in these modern high compression engines sure. is actually a, a, a slower ramp and then okay. a, a, a flat line. Yeah, flat absolutely. Toe. Yeah, yeah. So. We see that in our tuning. I mean, the, the flatter we can get that, you know, that torque curve, the better. Right, exactly. So it's basically allowing the timing number to stay high, bringing the boost in, you know, so we don't load that piston down low, sure. and then we flatten it off. So that's the beauty of what we can do with this. And then the customer inside can use this control module, sure, and he can swipe it, and he can change modes. So he can actually turn the blower down, he can have three different modes built into it. Really, okay, yeah. so basically you can decide, you know what, today I want all the boost down low, Right. Put that in it, and then yep. it's going to get all the boost down low. Yep. I mean, I ha I have one in my truck. I drive every single day, uh -huh. and uh, you know, if you're wanting to play around with your friends, I have it in one mode. If I want to sure. talk on the phone, drive through a drive through, right. you know, give it to lower the, boost. Right. Yeah. Give it to my dad. I lock it down in a lower boost mode, and you know, hand him the keys. And yeah. It's like a valet mode. So yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yep. That's awesome. Very cool. So you said that this is for limited applications. So exactly, which applications are you guys currently making? Like 2011, 14 Mustangs, okay. C7 Corvettes, C6 Corvettes, uh, F. 150s. I mean, we have a Chevy truck. So, so we have a good a array. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be coming out with the 2015 to current Mustang kit later, uh, you know, 2017. Very cool, so. man. Well, this sounds like a really awesome product, and I appreciate you showing, yeah, it, no uh, showing it for us today. That's really, really cool. I think you're going to be getting a lot of calls about this one. Yeah, Because yeah. it's definitely awesome. All right. Thank you, thank you, everybody, for watching. For more high-performance tuning knowledge, be sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and as always, stay tuned.